Hello YouTube land! Welcome back to my channel! If you are new here, my name is Anne and we are gonna get into my three years as an OnlyFans creator. Now, I joined, like I clicked the button to become a creator August 1st, 2021 and today is September 2nd, 2024. So I'm a little bit behind or ahead, I don't know. But I wanted to go over quickly my story with you guys, like my journey. And then I wanted to get into the stats so you can kind of see uh, how I did and what came out of how much I worked, how much I didn't work, whatever, into the numbers. So when I joined OnlyFans, I was living in a truck camper with <laughs> four people and a dog and we were traveling. So it wasn't a lot of space in there at all. I don't even think I made any content at all there, but I wanted something that I could do when I was traveling because of like the COVID situation and I ended up quitting Starbucks and just like something to do on the road and online and on my own schedule. And when I did start it, it was more so for modeling um, so that's something like I always wanted to do when I was um, a teenager, like in my older teens and stuff, but I was always just not what the typical model looks like and a little bit thicker, you know, some meat on my skin and stuff. And I played soccer, so I did have, I still do like have bigger legs and stuff like that. So I never really fit like the modeling or so I thought back then and then I just really wanted to kind of try that and just if people want to support me with some modeling then they could when I was on the road so I kind of did it that way now of course <laughs> I did get into the actual traditional OnlyFans route doing that um, but I only started uh, I only worked on OnlyFans for like four months and I think I only made a couple hundred dollars in four months my first month was like $82. My second month was $15. <laughs> and then I decided to quit because we uh, decided to park our camper in like a warehouse and have it kind of stored there while we were also sort of living in it too. And there wasn't a lot of cell service where I lived at the time. So it was really, really hard to do anything with that. And honestly, it was a lot harder than I thought and I wasn't going anywhere with it. Um, so I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. So down the road, we moved in to a 36 foot fifth wheel and we were still kind of traveling, not really in the fifth wheel, but with like our car road trips and lots of camping and with our truck as well. And our fifth wheel was parked on a like farm lot kind of so there was a lot of privacy and then I decided to go full swing with OnlyFans and just do it. I was like if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna give up and we're gonna continue on with that and I was able to make over two thousand dollars doing that my first month coming back from only making eighty two dollars. And I'm Canadian, so I do get a higher exchange rate. So all of the money is in US, but for the end of this, I will tell you how much I did make in Canadian dollars if there are any Canadians here. So I have been doing this full time. I also was a stay at home mom in the RV and I homeschooled my daughter. Um, so it was really hard <laughs> to do that. <laughs> but luckily I lived on a farm and we still traveled and I was able to like take time out for myself and do a bunch of work and content and stuff like that and also start my YouTube channel with that as well. I don't only just work with OnlyFans, I'm a YouTube content creator. I also have uh, two other platforms besides OnlyFans that I work on, Slushy and Fansly, oh and also Sex Panther. And I have my own merch store and I also am uh, Amazon affiliate. So I have a bunch of different things that I can do uh, during the day that's not just like this. Now, where are we? Let's see. 
So from moving into our RV, we did transition into a house at our friend's place. We all kind of went in the house together for a little while. And when that happened, that was like 20, what was it? 2022, I want to say, maybe 2023. I don't remember. But if you've been following my videos, you probably remember. And that was when OnlyFans went ape shit crazy and like audited everybody's freaking accounts. And I was on the verge of lo losing my profile. And I think I woke up one day and I had like <laughs> so many red notifications on my profile and it popped up with a notification like that just popped up and it said you have one more violation before we terminate your account. I was like oh my freaking god. So from that moment that's when I kind of ventured off onto a whole bunch of other platforms and other sites and other ways to make income because you can't always rely on one place to make you income especially like online you never know what's going to happen with technology and things shutting down and you're just not getting your money because it's just like up in the air and you don't know where it is and you don't know when it's going to come to you so that was fun now i do not live in an rv anymore as you can see i live in a nice little home I am going to hopefully in the next year or two buy, be able to buy a house. That is my dream. So hopefully that'll happen sooner than later. So let's get into the stats. So just recently I have, um, so when I did start doing my OnlyFans, I only had one profile and that was one that I changed quite a few times. <laughs> Monthly subscription prices I changed all the time. I did no pay-per-view, I did pay-per-view, I did no pay-per-view. I just changed everything. I was just trying to learn how to do things. And then a year later, I think, I decided to make another OnlyFans profile and that one was going to be my no pay-per-view one and my original one was just going to be a pay-per-view one. So I have had that like no paper my second one no pay-per-view one uh for a long time now um but it has transitioned now into like a no pay-per-view one <laughs> and i stopped using my original one so i like have been every profile i have i have just tried different things to see if it works and the only thing with trying different things is it can really set you back a long ways and you kind of have to regrow after every time that you kind of change things up a little bit unless you're like making your profile uh, cheaper um, but pros and cons to everything so I've had the two profiles for like almost three years or I've had the one profile for three years I've had the second profile for like over two years and now I have a free page so I actually have three pages and that is something that OnlyFans just uh, allowed maybe like six months ago or so and I actually had three pages like <laughs> a year ago two years ago when I was doing my coaching which is also something that I was also making money at as well um, when I was doing my coaching uh, I had made a free page for myself to be able to show people how to use the platform and <laughs> when OnlyFans audited my account that was also one of my violations that was you're not allowed to have three profiles why didn't you tell me like when I made it and it was all connected like why did it take you like I don't even know six months eight months later to tell me that I'm not allowed to have that profile but Anyways, you weren't allowed to have three. Now you are. So I now have my original profile as a no pay-per-view profile. My secondary one, which is my main one, is a pay-per-view profile. And now I have my free profile, which is essentially pay for everything except really cute selfies, I guess. <laughs> kind of just like where you can see uh, and purchase content whenever you want and it's like always stored there um, and people can have access to it kind of whenever they want. Okay, let's get into it. You're waiting for the totals. Now my motto is slow and steady wins the race. Um, 
I, you know, there's people who have made a ton more money than I have. There's people who have made a ton less money I have. So these are my uh, dollars for my pages. And I'll put up a little screen thingy. So my very first profile that I've had for three years, I made $23,560. My regular profile that I've had for two-ish years, maybe even less, I have made $133,138 US. And my OnlyFans free profile, which I've had for like six months-ish, and I've only started using it, honestly, all of August, like actually consistently, um, I made $151. <laughs> and that is all in US dollars. So with that, that's also with OnlyFans taking out their 20%. With that, in the three years, I've made 156,849 US dollars rounding. And in Canadian, that is roughly now the exchange rate goes up, it goes down. I have no actual way of telling you how much I've made because I'm not going into my bank statements for three years to figure out all the cents and all the rates and all that stuff. Roughly, I do times it by 1.3% because that seems to be kind of on the lower end and it doesn't really go past that. So I like to kind of do it lower than if it was really high. So times 1.3%, I did, two hundred three thousand nine hundred three dollars Canadian and if you follow me for a long time I have my handy dandy notebook and I wrote it in my notebook so that is how much I have made um, that's really really incredible for the time taken off the first the four months I took off the first four months that I barely did anything also so eight months off and then really learning and figuring out and just you know trying to do things that I like, trying to do things that fans like, trying to do things that other creators recommend, and just like a whole bunch of trial and error. So that is my video for today. I hope you guys have a super great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!